Thirty years after the 1969 Woodstock Festival, fans flocked to Rome, New York to celebrate another three days of peace, love, and music. But it would be no 60s love fest. Go! The concert took place on a closed Air Force base that had once been a toxic waste site. The first day proceeded with little incident. By the second day, temperature soared and fans began to feel the heat. Despite the high cost of tickets, promoters failed to provide concert goers with enough working bathrooms, water, trash cans, or security. It was a big gig for money. They hired a bunch of bands to play. They charged people as much as they possibly could. I spent $400 that weekend just inside the gates. Oh, never mind the 170 I spent on a ticket. As the day wore on and the music blared, the pressure grew. You can only deal with so much before you just say, that's it, I've had it. People do go crazy, people do snap. By the final night, as the Red Hot Chili Peppers took the stage for the last performance, the exhausted crowd had had enough. With candles distributed by the concert organizers, audience members started bonfires. They knocked down scaffolding, destroyed concession stands, and stole from vendors. I attempted to take a few things. I'm not gonna lie to you. By the time it was over, there was more than half a million dollars in damages. 44 people had been arrested. One out of 20 were treated for injuries. And eight cases of rape and sexual assault were reported.